Hi everyone and welcome to Book Boop. My name is Rachel and today I am going to give you a tour of my lovely TBR cart. This cart houses all of my unread books. So all the books behind me here, these are ones I've read, I love, I want to keep. These are ones that I have yet to read. Normally this is housed next to my bed downstairs, but my husband is playing a video game with a friend and my daughter's napping. So I moved this somewhere where I could do this without bothering anybody while I'm filming. But I'm just going to do this quick intro here and then I will show you each shelf and walk you through what's in my shelf. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's start with my very top shelf. This is probably the most clear shelf in the entire thing because this shelf houses all the books that I am currently reading that month. So it's February the 22nd right now, so I still have my February books up here, whatever I haven't gotten to or what I have gotten to on here, as well as some other fun little accessories. So I'm going to use my, my hand to illustrate. Ooh, fancy. Okay, so over here we've got The King of Crows, which I actually just finished reading. As you can tell, it's a library book. I also have The Seven Husbands of Evan and Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which I have yet to read. I still haven't gotten to it yet. I also have Dead Voices by Catherine Arden, also from the library. Right here is my bullet journal that I use to track my reading progress and where I keep my TBR list, where I track my channel, all that kind of fun stuff. And here is my paper white Kindle. And then on the right side over here, <laughs> Um, I have a Alice in Wonderland collection book that I absolutely adore. I think it's so pretty. And then that envelope right there that you see is what um, Book Roast G's uh, bookmarks came in that I ordered from her. And I actually kept the envelope because it has her handwriting on it and know that she like wrote on it and lovingly packaged it. And for some reason, I just want to keep it because I just love G and I love her channel. Um, and then here I have one of my favorite mugs. It's my Alice in Wonderland mug. I absolutely adore it. And I want to be able to see it every single day. So instead of just having it up in a cabinet and using it every once in a while, I use it to house my bookmarks. So I have all of these bookmarks here that are G's bookmarks. Um, I've showed them before, I think, in at least on Instagram. And then I also have some colored pencils that go with what are color that month is for my bullet journal, which is pink for February. Um, and just, yeah, and then a pencil and a pen. And I've got just a whole bunch of different bookmarks in there. So that's where I house all my books, bookmarks. So this particular shelf is the one that tends to change the most depending on the month, at least over in the side, because that's all the books that I read for the month. But let's go ahead and move down to the second shelf and I'll show you what I have there. So here is my second shelf of books. I'm not going to pull them out as I'm talking about them because it's a little difficult to get them out and get them back in. They're crammed in there pretty darn good. Um, and I'm not going to necessarily go over each book and what it's about because some of them I honestly don't know that much about. But I'm just going to at least go ahead and list the books for you so you know exactly which one it is and the author. So I'm going to start from the left and go all the way to the right. So we've got Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. The Doll People by Martin Godwin It's so witty. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, A Curious Tale of the In-Between by Lauren DeStefano, The Swallow by Karis Cotter, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, The Humming Room by Ellen Potter, The Collector by K.R. Alexander, This, this Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab, Light as a Feather by Zoe Arson, House of Furies by Madeline Rue, My Plain Jane by Cynthia Han, Jody Meadows, and Brody Ashton, Thornhill by Pan Smee. And on the top there, which you can probably barely see, is The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. So those are all my books on my second shelf there. There's so many of these I'm so excited about and I'm hoping to read sometime in 2020. All right, my dudes, we are down to shelf number three. So these are all the rest of the books that I have on my TBR cart. As you can see here in the front, we have Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. I'll move that out of the way. And for decoration, I also have this delicious tin. Well, the tin's not delicious. It's a pretty tin. It's Mad Hatter's Tea from the Republic of Tea. And I got this from Books a Million a while back. Um, and it's this green tea and blueberry and is absolutely delicious. And I love this canister because I'm such a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. So I kept it as decoration. Decoration. So the rest of the books here, again, from left to right, are Obsessed by Ted Decker, Adam by Ted Decker, The Nightingale by Christine Hanna, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, Spectacle by Jody Lynn Zrock, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, The Remarkable Journey of Coyote Sunrise by Dan Gaimenhart, The Bride Collector by Ted Decker, Boneman's Daughters by Ted Decker, 
A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and Plugged In by Daniel Strange. So there you go. Those are all the books that are on my TBR cart. I hope you all enjoyed this little TBR cart tour. It was fun to kind of show you all what I have yet to read, at least that I own. Um, if you're interested, this TBR cart I got from Target, and I believe it was $35, something like that. It wasn't really terribly expensive. It comes in this white and also comes in like a gunmetal gray. Um, I'll see if I can link it down below as well if you are interested in this. Hi, Moon Moon, my sweet boy. But... I hope you enjoyed this and I highly recommend a TBR card. They are fantastic. They not only look cute, but I like having all my books that I haven't read yet in one easy to find spot. On this side of the video over here is my logo. If you click on that, you can subscribe to my channel and follow me on my book journey. On this side of the video over here is a suggestion for another video if you wanna watch another one right now. But thank you so much for watching, you rock, and don't forget to keep reading. Bye.